Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome to yet another leg day training video. As you can see here, I'm still recuperating, which is why I'm still wearing a compressing tights and everything else. But I'm doing a lot better than I was last week, progression wise. I should be back to normal in a couple weeks. So after warming up, we look for about 5 minutes. I decided to go ahead and grab the bands, continue warming up by doing some resistance band hip abductors, and from there I actually started to actually work out itself. As you can see here, I'm basically showing you guys like one for my warm set with just one purple band, a bioelastic band. This one warm set of X bar back squats from there. I decided to go ahead and add in a red band to get a little extra more resistance, as you'll see momentarily. So I decided to do sets like this. Did about three sets with the purple and red. Did one more set to failure with the purple band, and from there went on to the next exercise. Okay, from there, I go ahead and grab the 25 pound plate. You can see here, just doing those five sets of band squats. I'm already sweating, but anyway, I did three sets of these short jar front squats for about 12 to 16 reps, and from there, I moved on. Okay, I followed up by doing three sets of X bar front squats to the purple band for about 12 to 16 reps. Okay, here it is from another angle, right from the front you can see even more sweat and the bubble fat, or so I say bubble fit t-shirt that I'm wearing. Okay, now I'm ready for somebody to reference how much bubble fat sucks a la 2D6 on yuck, 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 yuck. And yes, this made a Star Wars reference and a Norcore reference in a training video all at the same time. Got doing all that, you see, sweat's already dripping, so right at this point, I had nothing up but still, but to grab two 75 pound dumbbells. And from here, going to dumbbell squats, you can see here, I'm doing a semi like a deadlift, more like a hack squat. So, as you can see, I pretty much got the dumbbells positioned like I would if I'm grabbing the handles on the hack spot. I'm going down and up, down and up, trying to put more emphasis on the quads, not so much the hamstrings. And ironically, you don't need that much weight to really kill your quads for this exercise. <sighs> Now from the side view. Okay, so I'm filling up to it. I decided to go ahead and grab my 55 pound kettlebell and do some plie slash sumo squats. Really hit the inner part of my legs and really open my hips to pretty much prevent the same hamstring injury from happening all over again.
dumbbells are right there. I had to go ahead and do some calf raises with the dumbbells. Okay, from here I decided to go ahead and grab the resistance bands, do some Romanian deadlifts with the bands to really hit the hamstrings. But I'm also doing this to actually get a better stretch with the bands because, of course, with resistance bands, you pretty much got a constant tension and it's really good to get a good stretch in, especially trying to rehab an injury as well as prevent the same injury from occurring all over again. Okay, from here I decided to go ahead and grab the resistance bands again and do the resistance band leg press. One thing you will notice is that my form is a lot better than it was last week. I'm not shaking as much considering my hamstrings and glutes have time to heal up. So I did one step like this, one step a little bit more resistance and then back down to this resistance. Yeah, the heavy resistance really did get me, as you can tell from that grunt I just made. So I was doing the last combat exercise, so I decided to go ahead, go right into standing leg extension to really, really burn out the quads. Likewise, it's doing leg extensions, it's decided to go right into leg curls. Okay, I then decided to go back into hip adductors to really stretch everything out for us to end the workout. To pretty much really get a good stretch in and prevent the same thing from happening again, of course. I actually still want to get more calf work in, so I decided to do some anchor resistance band calf raises rather than doing everything else to my legs. Okay, I was basically tired, so like last week, when I'll show you guys the full blown ab workout, I decided to just do some resistance band crunches going from one direction to another. Alright, guys, so that basically brought up this training video. Once again, thank you guys once again for watching, and until next time, peace out. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.